Hi everybody, I am planning to start a Dojo tutorials. Why I planned for Dojo 1.7 is before 1.7 the modules were loading uh, native loading and with 1.7 Dojo introduced AMD style of uh, loading the modules asynchronously. So before starting with the Dojo tutorials I would like to go ahead with uh, AMD. What is the history of JavaScript? Why we need to use AMD? This kind of things will be uh, the talk in this presentation. While moving to the AMD, what is AMD? Let's talk about the history of JavaScript. At initial days, we are mentioning JavaScript inside a script type equal to text slash javascript tag uh, either in html jsp or asp pages while script is growing uh, with the, the web technologies are growing script also increased and we decided to move the complete script to some java uh, javascript files and including those files as like this script src the javascript file name we have been using this and we have identified from long long years a script is loading sometime that too we mentioned it at header section so until unless this script loads the remaining body content cannot load that's why we moved this script tag script loading tags uh, to bottom uh, to bottom of the HTML page so we are including the scripting uh, include script including tags before the body so the complete HTML content will load first then will uh, it, it's download the JS and it will it'll be ready uh, for execution Uh, as JS file uh, increasing, uh, say for example, we have around thousand lines of uh, JavaScript code in one single test.js. Maintaining this code is little bit headache. We have to uh, debugging and maintaining mainly maintaining the code is very headache. That's why we splitted. Uh, the JavaScript code into a separate JS files like test1, test2, test3, test4 and including the same way how we are including the um, JavaScript files we are just including but we cannot guarantee uh, uh, test4 JavaScript code may depends on one or test1 uh, JavaScript code may depends on test3 or test2 so if test1 javascript code is depends on test3 then test3 should be inserted first like this uh, some uh, dependency uh, on based on other javascript files it, 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 it maintaining this is a also a very headache so after after uh, uh, coming across all these issues common JS it's a specification common JS introduced a uh, loading the modules uh, asynchronously either modules or resources common JS introduced AMD the, uh, the same specification is used by Dojo 1.7 onwards and also require JS using the same implementation uh, given by common j specifications so now we can look what is amd <coughs> amd is uh, defining a module say for example write each and every uh, module a, a javascript file by using this fashion uh, like uh, write a defined function uh, it uh, in the define it will be a first parameter id 
for uh, it, it's nothing but uh, identification or definition of that particular module or resource name then dependencies array of dependencies uh, this module uh, this present module may depends on test 3 4 5 6 like this include those modules as a dependencies and pass those as a arguments to the factory method as like uh, mentioned in the following example i am defining test 1 uh, this the complete code will be under js folder under app and uh, test 1.js file so i am defining a function here with the test 1 module id and it depends on test 2 test 3 test 4 uh, javascript files or mm, modules or resources pass those as a mm, arguments um, to the factory method use those use those uh, modules and return something written written uh, something with whichever it is object or value anything <coughs> so this is the basic uh, principle uh, amd specified in the specification if test one that is id is not there uh, in definition it will take as a same um, file name as a uh, definition id file name as a uh, module definition you can say id also <coughs> but uh, dependencies if we don't have any dependencies just specify factory method only alone if you if you have any dependencies load them um, by using the array of dependencies then <coughs> while going to the dojo how it implemented loading all these modules <coughs> uh, dojo is using a dojo config object it should be initialized before even dojo file loads uh, you can mention this script uh, as itself or by using a single javascript file but this should this should be before dojo loads on the page so i am i am uh, declaring a dojo config um, <coughs> object here with the base url uh, base url is nothing but the my uh, path uh, to my modules my base url will be js and i am including a packages array the name of the package and the location of that package under base url the location my location will be js uh, slash app so uh, it will dojo will load all these modules all these packages which we mentioned in dojo config then it will execute after loading it will prepare for ready then whenever we require those modules with with the package name slash actual module uh, name which we uh, mentioned in the id so it will be available uh, via asynchronously that is the basic concept uh, behind the amd lo uh, amd loading um, by using dojo uh, dojo specified or implemented in this way <coughs> uh, we have another properties uh, inside a dojo config uh, object uh, that we will cover all these things in later videos or you can go ahead and search for uh, dojo config uh, dojo mm, you have a complete documentation there you can go ahead and uh, read read on those things otherwise i will i will be doing another video separate video for dojo config and how uh, about all the properties it's mentioned so as of now uh, we loaded we have only uh, one package one one package name in that package itself i have uh, six modules every module has uh, uh, defined amd uh, way only then uh, somewhere else maybe in in um, other module other modules uh, other than as, uh, other than that app modules i can use Mm, test one or test two test three anything but i need to use like the name which i given as for package package name 
uh, is app here under app I am using test one module uh, results I'm loading asynchronously here by using require function then passing that module as an argument to the function this is a call callback function do something with a test one and return something or perform something here now in this way uh, we are not depending on test one test two test three we are uh, uh, we are out of confusion which module needs to be loaded first and which module depends on other all these things can be solved with by using the mm, AMD asynchronous module definition this uh, end of my first session uh, with the dojo tutes this is mm, this session is completely regarding AMD other than uh, nothing other than in dojo in next videos i will be concentrating on uh, dojos by using uh, by starting with the dom manipulations initially thank you for watching